Come again. Come. Well, there's no real surprise that John Smith has decided to take the scrum. If they can keep the pack down and launch their phase of possessions up there, and just at the back, number eight, Pierre Space. Just a, such a fantastic athlete, watching him running around yesterday, full of athleticism and a wonderful ball carrier. It'll be interesting to see if he just picks up, ties in the Fijian back row, and then for South Africa to build their phases of possession. These sides meeting for just the third time. The last time four years ago in Marseille, in that quarter-final, 37-20. It ended up in the favour of South Africa, but that doesn't really properly tell the tale. You saw that man, J.P. Peterson, taking the ball up there with those bright red boots. It was his tackle which turned the game. Smith onto Mdungani. The tackle from the fly half, Luvenyali, penalty this time to Fiji. Well, what has been noticeable in this World Cup is when a player such as Ondungani takes the ball into contact. If they're isolated, such are the defences over the top, is that they will spoil possession. A lot of players getting penalised for handling on the ball. Ondungani not releasing in that contact area. Here you see it there. Two Fijian players over the top denying the possession. They've got to remember to stay on their feet, though. So test here at the throwing arm of Sunia Koto. He's got some big fellas there. Ame Leorabavu. It's fed up from Kenatale to Livignale. Big battering rams in the centre, Saramaya Bai and also Gavi Lovonbalavu. Out from Kenatale. Kenatale again. Feeding Manu just outside the spring box 22. There's Matadigo. Rocky's Borta there making the tackle. There goes Livignali, former Harlequins man, now playing for London Welsh. Kenatali again. There's the fullback, Muri Murivalu. They're making good progress here. Lovon Balavu. Feeding the ball on there. There's Nalanga. He scored so many tries for Clermont Auvergne before disappearing in slightly mysterious circumstances at the start of last season. It's good to see Nalanga back playing rugby. He's committed to go and play in Super Rugby next season for the Western Force in Perth. There's Cotto. A dozen phases already. Boys. And as you can see, just building the face. When it's slow, they have to start again. Trying to get their big runners, their key strike runners, such as Nalanga, Movon Balavu. Up to 14 phases. They're going to spread it wide this time. Oh, there's almost a chance there for Peterson. Well, the long pass off the left hand. And you could see how Peterson was eyeing that one up. He was almost licking his lips, wasn't it? Goni was out wide. But Fiji, you can just see the intent. They're all comfortable ball handlers as well. This is when they'd set up the phase. They went wide this time. Peterson comes in off his wing. The flick pass wasn't able to be made by Goni Good pressure, though. And it was interesting watching Fiji in the warm-up. They were actually operating the close spaces and trying to break a tackle with their defence, trying to offload, so they're very comfortable when they're going to hit the contact, but it's their beauty depth of hand that they come out offload within that contact. Picked up by Spice, showing that, not really at that time, but the sort of acceleration he has got. As I was saying, he's certainly sub-11 for 100 metres. Some people have said he's capable of running about 10-7. Off your feet, you have to roll out. Fiji penalised for going off their feet. Yeah, Matadigo, at number eight for Fiji, just going in over the top, but it was a first glimpse of Pierre Spies and the way he drives off from the scrum and got a few whistles going round because look at the size of this kick that South Africa have opted to go.
Well, it flies with the force of an exocet when he gets hold of it. Fran Stein. We've seen him drop goals from inside his own half, so with the help of the kicking tee and a good run at it. Under normal circumstances, 56, 57 metres. Well within his compass. And he's certainly got the distance. He's also got the line. Well, what a magnificent kick from Fran Stein. You talked about a run-up. He hardly has a run-up. He just walked up to that and absolutely nailed it. And the flight's pretty low as well, isn't it? It went through the uprights there, still at a fair old speed. This is back underway, and Lungani waits for it. Little step. And now he's not backwards by, among others, Deacon Manu, the captain. Manu, who's been playing in Clinetley for the Scarlets for the last five seasons. Here goes Dani Rousseau. Rousseau wearing his fourth number, fourth different number, on the back of a green and gold shirt this season. Peterson. Peterson's got real speed round Gonivar. The offload to Lambie. Up to the 22. Spies had to really bend his back for that one. There's Berger. Straight into Campisi Marfu. Stain. Rousseau. Oh, the pass was just delivered a split second too late. Yeah, Fiji got the man and ball there. You heard Roman Vuat saying there was a hand in the tackle. So knocked on, but Rousseau, well, he, he knows he wanted to get that ball away out to his winger. What a marvellous counter-attack, though, from South Africa. Fran Stein, let the ball do the work, is often a phrase you hear in coaches' parlance. But this is where the movement actually broke down. So out was Nalanga, I think, that came in there, just to deny that overlap. And the frustration showing on the big second row. Yes, Donny Rousseau. Two years to get his first cap, but this is 60th. Stain again, inside the 22, Dupria. Referee playing advantage here to South Africa. They'll have a penalty virtually straight in front if they don't make something of this. There goes Spies. The referee still playing the advantage. Lambie. Well, we're going to come back for the penalty. It's going to be another straightforward chance. Moments away from the world champions. Well, he's coming quite a long way across, actually, isn't he? It's quite interesting because the three have said he'll take the penalty. There was still fair possession being played there, and there's a, a look at young Pat Lambie. He's an exciting talent for South Africa, this youngster. Well, here's ambition for you. I hesitate to say it, but at this stage, three points up, 15 minutes gone. The word ambition is something you don't necessarily associate with the current Springboks. When you talk about ambition, Martin, they, they've certainly attacked from deep. They've now got this opportunity, five metres from the Fijian line. We've talked about how good their line out must be, how solid it must be. Rousseau comes forward to give the call. Spies climbing high, Rousseau's got it. Steenkamp battering his way to the line. Held up though, there's Puerta. De Prea, Berger. Still half a metre to go, look at the white jerseys. De Prea again, Steenkamp's on this time, it's Duplessis. Steenkamp again for the second time. The spring box sensing blood here, but De Prea's left it behind and the chance is gone. Well, the applause that goes up around the stadium. Furi De Prea with that knock on. South Africa just have to be patient. They just have to go through the phases. Looking out wide, actually, South Africa had a two man overlap out wide, but they're happy to take it through their forwards. But you almost felt with a peel round here that Steinkamp was going to go over the line. Good defence that came in from Ongera wearing the scrum cap. And again, Scott Berger running at the line, but a good wrap up tackle by the Fijians. They're comfortable in defence, you know.
Well, we talked an awful lot about the current injury list for the Springboks. Matfield, hamstring, James hit, the Villiers rib, Habana knee, Jan Muller, hamstring. But look at it from a positive perspective where South Africa are concerned as Matadigo comes away. When was the last time, apart from last weekend, when we had the likes of Furi Dupria, the likes of uh, Skulk Berger, the likes of Heinrich Brasseau, all playing in the same Springbok team. You're almost going back two years, really. So maybe they're timing things right. Yeah, Luvignali just uh, clears the sound. What about this for Matadigo? He picks up. He's under a little bit of pressure, steps, but he's noticed that Brousseau come off the scrum. Technically illegal, picked up by Roman Poit. Fiji clear their line. So we're through 17 minutes, three points to nil. The Springboks lead. And Nungani, confident under that high ball. Landy. Gunny Vars coming across for it. The ball's gone forward. The referee playing advantage here. Out from Kenatale. The Vignali just being wrapped up. That's Kenatale again. And then Garner just finding himself surrounded by white jerseys to, La to Lambi, who had to hurry there with the right foot. Yeah, he was under a bit of pressure. There was opportunity to just move that ball another one. South Africa had two other players back in support. But interesting that Fiji just, they're quite happy maybe playing a bit of territory there by playing a kicking game. And certainly in this opening quarter, they've added to the entertainment. Good work again there for Spice, but it's been picked up. Forward goes Koto. Back the scrum half to Natale. That's Wang and Ibroto. Yanni Dupasi made the tackle. Taken on that time by the captain, Deacon Manu. Kenatali again. Livignali. That was Saramaya by Matadigo. This is good from the Fijians. There's Marfu. The try line in the background. Nalanga. Referee playing advantage now to Fiji. Fire with the feed inside, and it's dropped by Akapusi on Guerra. The jump free, and also on the far side there, JP Peterson, I think, called for being offside. Well, Fiji up to go for the goal. And it's exciting every time Fiji get their hands on the ball. Of course, against Namibia, that 49 points to 25 win, there was far more space than the Namibians weren't as organised as South Africa. But so, sorry, the uh, Namibians, they were they, they let more holes through, they let more opportunities. This was Koto. And just the way that Fiji are able to go through their phases of possession, they're always a threat. But an offside there from JP Peterson. You saw he came on offside. And Roman Pat from out wide blows the whistle for the penalty. So Saramaya Bai. He played for a few seasons at Clermont Auvergne before moving just over a year ago to Cust. Doesn't do that much kicking for whichever club side he's been playing for over the course of the last five years but he was pretty decent during the week. Successful with eight out of nine. And he's made it one out of one here. Well, Fiji on a few occasions have gone through 12, 13, 14 phases of possession. They've been very patient. And as I mentioned earlier, but South Africa have got a better defence than Namibia. They haven't yet found the holes, but they are very confident within their handling game. That's what they must rely on if they're going to pose problems. 
Well, and Ngani was through on that. Picked up by Anguera. Looking for the offload inside. Look at Brousseau again.